Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video is about to share my top 5 lipstick which is suitable for no makeup day. I don't know whether you guys find the same, you know, especially during the weekend. A, you won't be in the mood to put a full makeup on but out of a sudden your husband or your family will say oh let's pop out to go to a pub for lunch or for dinner even sometime you pop to supermarket you want to make yourself at least look fresh but you can't be bothered to put a makeup on here's my little tip if you use the right lipstick for a no makeup or light makeup like I am today it will make a huge difference so let's get started First of all, uh, oh, let me just zoom you guys in and I just had really much a um, no makeup makeup day. So I just used a very light BB cream, contoured my face, of course. Then all I did is contour my nose and eyes, put eyeliner, mascara on, that's about it. So, by the way, will you guys be interested in a no makeup makeup tutorial? or for me to share the best practice that how I do a no makeup makeup day like this look leave your comments down below and uh, I probably put a video together for you so let's move on to the lipstick so far I have no lipstick on so my lip color is fairly light um, the advantage is uh, it is easy to apply any a lipstick color even is light lipstick color it will show a good result on my lip because my own lip color is light but the disadvantage it can make myself look a little bit pale or a little bit you know tired so here's all the lipsticks color that I would recommend to all of you and the first one is from perfect diary as you probably see at this little pouch on one of my all the videos and is the cut is the uh color l01 every time i see this lipstick i always always get impressed by the packaging it's just so pretty right let's see the color this one is a matte finish look how smooth it is See, it is a warm orange brown color. It, um, I normally use this during uh, winter and autumn time if I need to pop out supermarket or if I need to, you know, go out for lunch or for dinner. This one does last long as well. Let me quickly put this on my lip for you. Let me zoom you in. I think the color on the camera is more, it had more redness into it. When you look at mirror, it's actually slightly lighter. The reason I recommend this one is, although it's not completely nude, but it's not bold orange or bright orange on your lip. Um, well, personally, I feel when you have no makeup or very light makeup on your face then you put a bold lipstick color on your on, on your lip but unless you have a very beautiful mouth shape plump properly you know by all means you know, go ahead with it but if you are normal people like myself uh, my lip is is not thick it's quite thin and quite small can you imagine that I look very pale or like flat on my face and have a very bright red lipstick on my lip it's just gonna look very weird and the people may think that are you drinking blood so personally I would choose something a slightly lighter but still give you a nice color on your lip it will bring the freshness out rather than people whoa something wrong with your lip so next one is the Chanel lipstick color 807 
It's a beautiful, not nude pink. So this is a beautiful, like, um, coral pink, light cherry pink. It is very creamy, easy to apply, but you do have to uh, reapply it if you are uh, going out for a meal, after a meal, or had a, you know, had something to eat. But this one looks beautiful on the lip. As it's creamy, therefore it's so easy to apply. When you're in the rush, just put this in your bag. When you sit in the car, if your husband drive, that is, then quickly apply that. I think that will zoom you in better. And myself used this one completely on a plain face that had no makeup or whatsoever. I literally just quickly brushed my hair, put the lipstick on, then pop out and had a nice dinner with friends. This is what I would like to achieve to make myself look fresh, look energetic, is having a very nice colour applied on the lip. It's not completely nude, but bring the freshness and energy out of my face. Highly recommend this one. This is one of my favorite. Let's move on to next one. Uh, is Giorgio Armani's lipstick. The red one um, is number 508. This one is um, in a similar coral pink zone as the previous Chanel one, but it's lighter. It has more um, slightly blue color in there, therefore it's a slightly cooler tone than the Chanel one earlier. And again, this one gives you nice sheen, cream, creamy uh, formulation, easy to apply. Let me zoom you in. I use this a lot during the summertime. Um, so in the spring, summertime, you know, wear a t-shirt, shorts, apply this on, pop to supermarket, perfect. Or even go to work, you know, when, when you were in a rush. Don't bother with makeup, but um, probably put eyebrows on. Um, then just apply this lipstick, then off you go. Oh, forgot to say, as it's, um, as it's very creamy and buttery, therefore it doesn't last that long. Um, it will be okay if you just drink, uh, have a sip of tea or drink coffee, but you will have to reapply it afterwards. Uh, especially after a meal, you will have to reapply it. Okay, we've got two more to go. Next one is the lip gloss. It's from Sephora own brand. It's there. Uh, it's the number two has plumped effect. So this one when you put on the lip is giving you a very teeny tiny and plumped effect. It has a you know minty feel on it. And um, this lip gloss is pretty much a nude color. It gives you beautiful shine as well. Let me just apply it. So this one for my lip color is pretty much just, let me zoom you in, it's easier to explain. As you can tell, it doesn't change my lip color that much. So if you do have a darker lip color, uh, then I wouldn't recommend this one as it won't really make any difference uh, on your on your lip. And um, it will really just like uh, you had a gloss on you, you rather just use a plain one. Um, this one I like the most is because my lip color is fairly light. So when I apply this one, it evens out my lip color tone because sometimes I 
my lip color gets a little bit dark in here and the light unevenly surrounded so this one is helps um, my lip color to even it out and give a nice shine on it I like the feeling of a tiny little plump feeling about it is not too much it's a little bit tingling on your lip but other than that it's very comfortable to wear and it's give you a nice glow on your on your lip so the last one i would recommend would like to recommend is again from chanel is chanel's la rouge duo it's the color 40 light rose And this one, oh, this baby lasts forever. You will have to use a slightly stronger, you know, makeup remover to actually remove this lipstick. So that's another reason I like to recommend this one. Uh, you know, if you go out for if you go out for dinner, go out for a longer time, and you don't and you don't have time and you don't want to reapply it all the time, this is the baby you're looking for. It's lovely as the name described it. It's a lovely light rose and a light coral color. It is very pretty. It is, someone probably asked me, is it similar as this Chanel 807? It has similarities. It's all in the rosy coral um, color zoom. So this is the uh, lip gloss one and this is the Chanel lipstick 807. So 807 would be slightly towards, had a little bit more red-ish, pink-ish in there. Sorry, the Chanel gloss uh, 40 would be more coral and rosy. Let me just apply that on my lip. Okay, that's the color without the gloss. Okay, let me apply the gloss on it. So once you apply the gloss, it's pretty much stay there forever. So let me zoom you in. Once you apply the lip gloss, it doesn't get sticky at all. And this one is long lasting. You will have to use a stronger makeup remover for it. But again, this one is beautiful, very lady, soft, rosy color. It will really bring the freshness onto your face. And I love the gloss on it. I, I, I think it's also my personal preference because my lip compared to my face structure my lip is is quite small especially my top lip is quite thin therefore i like to use lip gloss it will give a nice shine and will make my lip a little bit more plumped therefore personally i would prefer a gloss but it's very hard to find a nice um, gloss for no makeup use but i absolutely recommend this one it will make you very soft. Don't talk too loud. We have li this lipstick on. Oh, see, I just use a normal uh, makeup remover wipe. <laughs> see, this is how stubborn the lipstick is. Right, that is for today. Hope you liked today's video and um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you on my next one.